I'm Margo Lang. And I'm Bob Spicer, and this is your Lake of the Ozarks News Update brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com and sponsored by hy V and YC Power Sports. Today we're going to talk about a race for some Camden employees. A national group, a frat guy, is putting to work locally. Camden on the Lake earns big accolades. A big party is this weekend. Find out who's turning 50. It's not me. Not me. Lake TV takes on the Hillbilly Barbecue. And a kids carnival in Osage Beach. And Mary Kay Von Brindle is here from Ozarks Amphitheater to bring preview their upcoming concert. Sounds like fun. All that and more after a word from High V in Osage Beach. Barbecue as an art form. That pretty much sums up the 24th annual Hillbilly Barbecue Cook-Off in Lorry, Missouri. From as far away as Texas and as near as Sunrise Beach, over 50 competitors vied for prize money, trophies, and ribbons over a summer weekend to see whose barbecue was best of the best. One thing sure, these artistes are dedicated. I'm Allison Berman from Independence, Missouri. Betsy Masters from Merriam, Kansas. We're sisters. She's the head chef. <laughs> you like it just sitting on the top like that? Yep. What are you preparing now? Chicken. And I so. see you've won in the past. We have. <laughs> We've won a few. Judging from your equipment, it looks like a fairly expensive hobby for you guys. It is. It's very pricey. <laughs> very, very pricey. But it's just like golf or fishing. If you want to do it, you got to invest in some good equipment. So you definitely have. Yeah. The Hillbilly Barbecue Cook-Off is officially sanctioned. Yes, sanctioned by the KCBS. What's that? Can you give me a little history about the uh, Kansas City Barbecue Society? The Kansas City Barbecue Society is about 35 years old. Uh, it started out in a field out in the middle of Kansas and <laughs> a suburb of Kansas City. And uh, and uh, the Hake Farm, and and it was uh, it was started by eight, I think it was eight individuals that decided, hey, let's just have us a barbecue contest. And I, I'm certain there was no alcohol involved at all during that period of time. And and they they justifiably uh, was instrumental in creating America's cuisine, and that would be barbecue. Whether you're from Texas that think they have barbecue or Kansas City that started barbecue, matters not. It's all barbecue, and that's what we're here for: the education of barbecue. So how do you judge over 50 random number entries? All right, the judging procedures are that the judges are presented entries with six individual pieces. They judge it on appearance first. Once that's been done, then it is judged on taste and tenderness based on a criteria of numbers from well, one to nine. One is left for disqualification, nine is a perfect <laughs> score. That's just about the sum of it. Who won the Grand Champion $1,000 reward? None other than Mocan Meathead in Sunrise Beach. Bob Spicer, Lake TV. Take a pirate slide and a bouncy house. Add a couple of characters. Excuse me, sir, can you hear me okay? <laughs> Cheap man's hearing aids. <laughs> Mix with kids and games, and you have the recipe for fun. And it all took place at the Harper Chapel United Methodist Church in Osage Beach over the weekend. There were games like the formidable plastic cup tower, the bean bang toss, <laughs> and whatever that game is. What's this carnival for? We're having a carnival for any kids that want to come. We have free school supplies. We've got face painting with clowns, fire truck, police car. Everyone's just having a good time on a bouncy house and 
having fun. That's what it's all about. And you had some donations too, didn't you? We did. We had lots of donations of school supplies that we're just really excited to hand out to the kids. And the kids seem to be excited to go back to the school. So it's just been a fun afternoon. They're what? I know. I teach. I'm not that excited to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Spicer, Lake TV. Friday night, Ted Nugent will be rocking the Ozarks Amphitheater in Camdenton. Doors open at 6 and the show starts at 8. Head East will be opening for, for Nugent. Between two groups, you can expect to hear a lot of soundtrack from movie Dazed and Confused. And no doubt Nugent's music may cause a little cat scratch fever. Tickets start at $25. The players at the Camden County Museum will be performing for the Dinner Theater Friday and Saturday night. The show is called Don't Tell Mother. <laughs> Tickets just 15 bucks, doors open at 5.30, dinner starts at 6, curtain goes up at 7, seating is limited, so we highly recommend you call the museum ahead of time to reserve your seat. Saturday morning, you're invited to join Lake of the Ozarks Watershed Alliance at their kayak meetup. Never kayaked before? No worries. Experienced paddles will also be there to show you the ropes. It's a great way to enjoy the beauty of the lake. Meet some new folks and get a little exercise. You can join the free event by meeting everyone at Hahatanka Kayak Steps at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning. Saturday morning, you can also get out and support our fallen troops at the Lake Run or Walk for the Fallen. That starts at 9 a.m. in the morning at the Camdenton Middle School Theater. This is a free event. Donations will be accepted for Flags for Freedom. The event will honor all military men and women of Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom and pay special tribute to each of Missouri's fallen soldiers. You'll also have a chance to meet Missouri Gold Star families whose loved ones paid the ultimate sacrifice. Need a little grease lightning in your life? On Saturday at 9.30 a.m., the Warenberg Theater in Lake Ozark is hosting a grease sing-along. All ages are welcome, and don't forget to wear your favorite grease costume to really get in the spirit. Tickets are at $10 for adults and $5 for kids, kindergarten through 12th grade. The Warriors Against Melanoma Poker Run starts at 11 a.m. on Saturday. Players are dealt a card at each poker run stop, which includes Dog Days Bar and Grill, Naughty Fish Rum Bar, and a wrap-up party at Topsider Bar and Grill. That starts at 7 o'clock in the evening. Each hand is a $20 donation to support melanoma research and families of those battling late-stage melanoma. Join them for a great cause and a fun and safe day on the water. And, of course, bring your sunscreen. It's August, and that means the shootout is coming. Sunday kicks off the event with a shoot-off golf tournament at Old Kinderhook. Registration fee is $120 a player and includes 18 holes and a lunch. All proceeds support Lake Area Firefighters and Lake Area Charities. Registration and lunch start at 12 p.m. and the shotgun starts at 1. That's just some of what's happening at the lake this weekend. Go to lakeexpo.com for a complete list of events. And coming up, Lake Ozark's 50th anniversary party, fall gardening tips, and Mary Kay Von Brindle joins William Holtz in studio to preview their upcoming concert this weekend. All that and more after word from YC Power Sports. On the road, on the trail, or on the water, if you're looking for heart-pounding performance and fun, head for YC Power Sports in Osage Beach. The biggest and best brand names in the field, along with incredible selection and unrivaled service. Make this year at the lake the best it can be. With a visit to our showroom in Osage Beach, and coming soon, our new relocated showroom in Columbia. Take a look at ycpowersports.com, too. Summer fun is just waiting for you at YC Power Sports in Osage Beach and Columbia. Welcome back. I'm William Holtz with Lake TV. You're watching the Lake News Update, and I am now joined by Mary Kay Von Brendel, and she's the Director of Operations at the Ozarks Amphitheater. Mary Kay, welcome. Thank you very much, Will, for having me. My pleasure, and we had a very exciting weekend together. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Parmalee played at the Amphitheater this last Saturday, and uh, what'd you think? I thought the concert from start to finish was fabulous. The entertainment that we had was fantastic. It was awesome. We're going to show you guys here in just a second just how great it was, but as you're probably wondering, and I started to wonder, what is this chicken doing on our news desk? This chicken actually is going to be the trophy that is going to be awarded to the restaurant in the lake area that makes the best chicken noodle soup. And that is our Yankee Doodle Chicken Noodle Contest. Correct. And you're going to get this prize if your restaurant wins, but even better than that, your soup is going to be served to someone. Who would that be? That would be Ted Nugent, because as Ted Nugent has a tradition that he loves to enjoy homemade chicken noodle soup after every concert. So what we're doing is we're going to have a Facebook-driven contest. Whichever restaurant by Wednesday has the most votes, the top five restaurants, 
a panel of esteemed judges, which I think you will be traveling with them. I will be. Are going to go from restaurant to restaurant sampling chicken noodle soup. And Thursday, we're going to announce the winner. They get this fabulous trophy, and we will be serving their chicken noodle soup to Ted Nugent after the concert. Okay, so a little more details on how it works. Right now, as you're watching this, you can go to the Ozarks Amphitheater Facebook page, and there's a post. It starts with the chicken. You'll see the picture. It's Yankee Doodle Chicken Noodle Contest, and you have to comment on that post which place has the best chicken noodle soup. We're going to compile the vote, see who gets the top five, and those right. are the ones that make the finals? That's correct. We'll be driving to their restaurants on Thursday. Thursday? On Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday, so it's coming up. <laughs> and uh, if if you by chance win, for one more time, your soup gets served to Ted Nugent after the concert Friday That's night. That's correct. And you get this fabulous trophy. And so the Yankee Doodle Chicken Noodle Cook-Off is so exciting, but we're also excited because Ted Nugent's coming to Lake of the Ozarks. Talk about the concert a little bit. Ted Nugent is going to be taking the stage this Friday at the Ozarks Amphitheater. Um, the opener for this one, we're also doubly excited, is going to be Head East. So it's a marvelous pairing of two artists, or two groups. And it's awesome because Head East local, they're from? They're from St. Louis area. Mm -hmm. Which is way cool. And so turn back the clock a little bit. Ted Nugent and Head East going to be heading to Lake of the Ozarks Friday, the 12th of August. And we are so pumped. And not only that, but somebody from Lake of the Ozarks is going to get to showcase the home cooking from the Ozarks. I don't know. It could be you. And guys, we're going to leave you with a clip or highlights from Saturday's big show as Parmley took the stage at the Ozarks Amphitheater. We hope you enjoy. I'm William Holtz with Lake TV, and we are here on the Parmley tour bus. I got Matt Thomas, lead singer with Parmley. What's going on, Matt? Uh, just hanging out, man. Waiting, waiting for about uh, we got 45 minutes before showtime. Just hanging out and uh, enjoying the nice weather tonight. The crowd's getting good, so yeah, we're, we're pumped up, excited, man. What a, what a venue, and getting to be outdoors, you guys are just loving this, aren't you? Oh, it's great. It's been a beautiful day, perfect weather today. Can't wait to take a stage here in just a little bit. Now, I want to talk to you guys getting to come to Lake of the Ozarks. We were just voted number one recreational lake in the country. Talk about, I heard you guys got to go out to Ha Tonka and, and the cave, Bridal Cave. Talk to me about those a little bit, Matt. Oh, well, these guys went to uh, the cave first. I went fishing down in the cove, so uh, I, I was, I caught a couple fish, which was great. Um, and then uh, we went to Ha Tonka and got to see the castle. And, and um, it's just really cool to, to be able, we, we get to travel the country and when we come places like this, it's really cool to get to take it all in. And, and it's good that we have a little time during the day to, to check out what, what's going on locally. And uh, what a beautiful place, man. Lake's awesome. We're actually even talking about maybe coming back and uh, doing a little vacation here. So We've decided we need a Parmalee compound on the lake here because it's beautiful. I, I can't wait to come back. Okay, well, uh, you know, Parmalee, if you haven't heard of them, you're crazy. You must have been living under a rock. But uh, to have the success that you guys have had, but not just that, we got a set of brothers, a cousin, and a lifelong best friend here in U4, and you guys have had uncharted success for family and friends. Just talk about what that means to get to travel the country with your friends and family and do this. It's very strenuous. Uh, <laughs> no, it's awesome. It's great. We're, uh, I'm the only one that's not in the family, but these guys have pretty much adopted me and taken me in, and it's, it's great. You get to work with your best friends every day and travel the country and see all this cool stuff. It's great. Josh, so what do you think about, okay, their family, do they ever treat you a little different because you're the only one that's not actually blood? Nope, they treat me like I'm blood. So what do you guys think about this crowd? Not only are they here early, but I mean, they are rocking right now. They cannot wait to see you guys. You guys play all kinds of outdoors. Where would you rank the Ozarks Amphitheater? Oh, well, I mean, it's probably about the biggest place we've headlined. Yeah, to be honest yeah. with you. Uh, so that's exciting. Number one. Yeah, number one. Number, number one. one. You guys heard it right here. Parmalee, the number one outdoor venue they've played at, the Ozarks Amphitheater. That's wonderful, guys. Uh, I know your guys' time is very valuable. you got tons of stuff to do. Uh, we're going to hang out a little bit off camera, but we're going to cut this. Thank you guys so much, and uh, I just can't tell you how excited the lake is to have a band of your guys' caliber, not just here, but treating us like uh, awesome people. And we just thank you guys for that. Thank you all for having us, man. Glad to be here. That's Parmalee, the Ozarks Amphitheater. I'm William Holtz of Lake TV, and we thank you for watching. Thanks for that interview, uh, Will. And by the way, it's uh, Ted Nugent coming up this Friday night. I was at the amphitheater over the weekend for the Parmalee concert. Great, great time. Great, great venue. Great, great amphitheater.
Anyway, most of Camden's employees will enjoy a pay increase of about 25 cents an hour next fiscal year. Thanks to the Board of Aldermen, the increase is for everybody except jobs affected by the Fair Labor Standards Act, changes in job responsibilities and or duties requiring after hours meetings. Some of the positions that are not going to see that raise are community service officers, building directors and the city clerk. The Camdenton Alderman also agreed to a public information period to consider raising the city's benefit to employees from one and a quarter percent to one and a half percent. City administrators thought the additional cost of the city could be about 62,000 bucks. The public has until the middle of December or rather September to address any concerns with the board. Frat guys got their hands dirty building a nature trail for Wonderland Camp, a local camp for people with disabilities. The men from Pi Kappa Phi worked on a new nature trail during the day and spent time with campers in the evening. The group is a part of a Build America team, which travels the county serving camps and campers with disabilities. Each group of fraternity boys had to raise at least $4,000 in order to participate in the program. The Wonderland Camp Executive Director said the group worked very hard during the day and brought great energy to the evening programs with the campers. The Lake Regional Hospital Auxiliary is preparing to host the 40th annual ball on October 1st at the Lodge of Four Seasons in Lake Ozark. During the last 39 years, the event raised nearly $2 million for Lake Regional Health System helping fund departments like the Cancer Center, Cardiac Catheterization Lab, Emergency Department, Family Birth Center, along with many more. The entire community is welcome to the ball. It starts at 6 p.m. with a cocktail hour. Evening promises great live music with an eight-piece band, a gourmet meal, and dancing. Proceeds from this year's benefit ball will go to Lake Regional Family Birth Center to buy new electronic fetal heart rate monitors. The guests have spoken, and Camden on the Lake Resort has once again earned their TripAdvisor Certificate of Excellence. This is the resort's fifth TripAdvisor Certificate of Excellence in a row. The award is only given to hospitality business businesses that consistently get high quality reviews from customers. One visitor even called the resort heaven. Lodging One Hospitality began managing the resort last year and were pleased they continue to offer a premier resort experience. Camden on the Lake offers guests casual dining, retail shops, a fitness center, a full-service Avita salon and spa, a multimedia theater, marina and boat charters, hot tubs, and an outdoor swimming pool with swim-up bar. Note, the intersection of Armory Drive and Nichols Road to Highway 54 and the Armory Drive entrance will be closed for several weeks for improvements. As an alternative route, you can use State Road KK or Case Road exits to access Osage Beach Parkway. To get to Industrial Park businesses, use Industrial Drive from Osage Beach Parkway, Nichols Road toward Osage Beach Elementary, and Dude Ranch Road, off of which I live, <laughs> will stay open, thank goodness, and will be accessible from Highway 54. This year honors Lake Ozark's 50th anniversary. The celebration will begin with a special hot summer night on the Bagnell Dam Strip this Friday. 50 years of cruising the Strip will feature music from the 60s and, of course, vintage cars. Business owners are also temporarily bringing back the prices from the 60s. Then on Saturday morning at 9 a.m., the mayor is hosting a reception at City Hall. A time capsule will be buried to be unearthed in 2066. Everyone is invited to take a look at it, sign the guest book, and enjoy cake and coffee with the community. After the ceremony, the strip will offer a day of events, including live music, a bounce house, and dunk tank and fireworks show at dusk. Does your garden need a bit of a refresh? Well, our resident Green Thumb, Sarah Tezek, has some tips for fall planting. Uh, the lake area's uh, long, mild autumn. It's a great time to grow veggies. Tezak recommends planting bush beans this week because they'll be less bothered by pests and heat and will offer many pods before the frost comes. Peas can be planted even later in August because of their frost tolerance. Root vegetables are also excellent fall growers. Try carrots, beets, turnips. Many folks feel carrots are sweeter after a frost. For more fall gardening tips, you can check Sarah's Lake Gardening column. That's on lakeexpo.com. I'm Margo Lane, and this has been your Lake of the Ozarks news update. Thanks for watching us on Como Connect Channel 90, Charter Channel 197, and watch anytime on mylaketv.com. And remember to connect with us on Facebook and Twitter at MyLakeTV, and you can check out our Instagram page at handle my underscore Lake TV. And for Margo and the entire news team from here at the Lake TV News Studio, I'm Bob Spicer, and have a great day.